What's up guys? Welcome to the Happy Trails Outdoor Experience. My name is Ryan and uh, today we're just kind of hanging out seeing what uh, what there is to discover. We're taking a crick walk today. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I have some trout sitting right in front of me right now and if I can't catch them I'm gonna try to get a good shot for you guys. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we might see some snakes. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff out here so let's see what we can get into guys. Thanks. All right, guys, so I literally just caught this here shiner. And I'm going to see if these trout are interested in munching on a shiner. Because worms are just simply not doing it. So we're going to leave that shiner on there just the way he is. And I'm going to cast right over here after this palomino. Oh, I lost him. Well, guys, I don't think that I'm going to be able to uh, catch any of these fish. I believe that these fish have probably been overfished. And uh, I also think that the, it's a little bit too warm out for trout. Guy was here earlier before me. saw him on the way down, and he said he was having some luck. But... I'm gonna head downstream. I'm gonna try to get close to these guys to see if I can get a good shot. They are absolutely beautiful. Ah, got him. I got a little micro bass. Would you look at that? This water feels fantastic. It's a nice little largemouth. He has some pretty colors on him. I don't think that's what hit it originally, but it's a nice little fish. I'd like to get down there to one of those deeper holes. So I know where the big boys are at. All right, I got another one. That's the one that was going after originally, and that's not even a bass. That's a big old poopy crick chub. Too bad I don't have my bucket with me, right? That'd be catfish bait. Onward. Oh, there's a crayfish. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Straight out of the water. He's like, ah, don't touch me. I think this fish might just, oh, there's two of them in there.
Come on, man. Oh, he went for it. He went for it again. He's snapping at it. Snapped at it again. He's getting real irritated with it. He got it. Got him. And that is what I like to see. I'm going to need to get another crick chub. He is pulling. I hope he doesn't get off. Oh, I thought he did. That's actually a really nice smallmouth. He is not happy with me at all. Come on, man. Give up, just let me see you. Nice. That fish went after that crick chub. That, it's probably about 16 inches, I'd say. About two pounds, small mouth. Not bad. Bye, buddy. Thank you. On to the next one. Okay, guys. So I have two things to show you here. One would be this water snake you see going there. Two would be this giant spider. Look at that guy. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna try to get the snake. A spider, a spider right there, runs across my leg. I'm not gonna be happy. Oh. That was a different one. I got him. I got this little guy. You know, this would make perfect bait, but I'm not into that. He got a beautiful color on him. Alright, I'm gonna let this guy go and try to get the other one. The other one's under this rock. Right here. Oh god! I saw that. Ew, that thing is massive. That is a giganto spider. Ew. Hey, you guys are going to think I'm crazy for this, but... Do you know what kind that is? Got him! That thing is damn near the size of my hand. Look at that. That is insane. Look at them fangs. All right, we're gonna let this guy go too. All right, that was a close call, but I am an idiot, so. All right, guys, I think we need to go catch some more fish. That got my adrenaline pumping. Onward! Ah, look at him! Look at him go! 
mini snake. All right, let's see what's under this rock. Hey, it's your mousey. <laughs> Look at what I found, guys. Look at this. It looks like ping pong balls, but it is definitely not ping pong balls. Right here and right here, probably about a week ago, you would have found snapping turtle eggs. And that's exactly what this is. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, at least, it looks like at least 20 eggs from a snapping turtle. To come across one of these babies would be really, really cool. But I doubt that we will. Awesome, man. Really, really cool. Well, I didn't catch the hook set on this one, but I got another one, guys. He's just a little guy, but I figured I'd show you. It's a nice little six-incher. Thanks, buddy. Got another one here, guys. Oh, it's a nice... That is a really fat rock bass. It's like the second biggest fish I caught of the day, and it's a rock bass. Look at that. This rock bass is really, really chunky. Nice. And the belly on him. All right. Got one. That's another rock bass. A little bit smaller than the last one I got, but I'll take him. Ah, quit it. I barely have him hooked. Almost hooked myself. Nice. All right. On to the next spot. Look at what, uh oh. Look at what I got, guys. It's dinner. Well, that's not the big one that I wanted, but it is a trout. Uh. Eh. Eh. Okay, go back. Alrighty. All right, guys, that's all the time that we have for today. We're going to head out here soon. It's starting to get dark. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, follow us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Uh, the YouTube channel is going to be up and running again here soon. I don't know how often I'm going to be able to post videos. i um, pretty busy these days. But I'm going to try my best uh, to share all of our adventures with you guys to you know, kind of bring you guys along and show you all the cool things that we get to see. So, All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, thanks for watching.